welcome back to the fifth uh, episode on grade 12 financial mathematics. In this lesson, we're going to discuss the last payment. Now, you may wonder why we would like to do it. Now, just to sketch the scenario for you, say for, it, for example, that we fix payments beforehand on the repayment of a loan. So you take out the loan, you agree with the bank to make a certain payment every month, and you want to pay the loan over a certain period. Now, most of the time, it will not be possible that all payments will be integer values. So that means the same amount. What most of the time happens is that we will make those payments up to the very one, uh, the one before the last one, and then the last payment will be a lesser amount than the payments we've made. So let's just discuss this a little bit further to make sure you understand what this is all about. In this lesson of last payment, we say when a payment amount is fixed beforehand, so when we take out the loan and we fix the payment, it is usually not possible to settle the loan by an integer number of equal payments. So not all payments will be equal. In such cases, there will be a last payment smaller than the others to settle the loan. This payment is made one period after the last full payment. So, how do we find this last payment? We work out the outstanding balance right up to the last full payment. And then we times it with one month compound interest to get the last payment. So, let's now look at a problem and see how we're going to calculate this last payment. In this problem, Gregory has to repay a loan of 375,000. The interest rate is 14% per annum compounded monthly, and he pays back 7,500 Rand per month. So first of all, we need to calculate how many payments George have to make. Now, from our first lesson, you'll remember the moment they ask us for how many payments, that is N, so that already tells us that we're going to use locks to do this problem. So let us now see what was given to us. First of all, the loan amount was given to us as P equal to 375,000. The payment, monthly payment, is 7,500. Our interest rate, please take note, interest rate is compounded monthly, is 0 0.14 over 12. And in this problem, N is what we are looking for. So, of course, it, because it's a loan, and we know the loan amount, we know the payment, we know the, the interest rate, and we need to solve for N, we're going to use the present value annuity formula. Now, P is equal to X, one minus, one plus I to the minus N, please remember that minus N for present value over I. And now let's substitute. So now we say P, which is 375,000, is equal to, my X is 7,500, 1 minus 1 plus my interest rate 0 0.14 over 12, and the exponent is then minus N, remember N is what we are looking for, over I 0 0.14 over 12. Now, we want to solve for n. So that means we want to get this bracket to the minus n on its own. So to do that, we will multiply both sides with this denominator and we will divide by 7,500. 
So that will give us 375,000 times by 0,14 over 12, and then we divide with 7,500. And that is equal to 1 minus 1 plus 0,14 over 12 to the minus n. So this bracket has got a negative outside, so we are going to move this bracket to the left, and this whole fraction we're going to take to the right. So that will give us 1 plus 0, 0,14 over 12 to the minus n is equal to 1 minus 375,000 times by 0, 0,14 over 12 divided by 7,500. Now, please take your calculator and only calculate the inside of this. And best is to put down the answer as a common fraction. And please, I would love you to try it, to make sure you can do it, and then check your answer against mine. And mine is 607 over 600, and the exponent of minus n. On the right-hand side, if you say one minus and use a fraction button, the right-hand side will work out to 5 over 12. And now we are ready to use logs. So we're going to say that minus n is equal to that exponent to the log of that. So it's the log of 5 over 12. And my base is this base, 607 over 600. Now, when you calculate this log on your calculator, you will notice that you will get a negative answer of 75,477,06,563. And then, of course, to find n, we will just multiply with a negative, so n will be 75,477,06563. What does this answer mean? It means there will be 75 full payments of the 7,500 rand, and then there will be one lesser payment. This was the A part to this question, so you already, I'm sure you know what the the B part of this question will be. This is now where they want us to calculate that last payment. So please remember, there were 75 full payments and one lesser payment. So to get the outstanding balance, you will remember to find the last payment, we first need to find the outstanding balance at the last full payment. So outstanding balance, as you can remember in our, in our, from our previous lesson, is P1 plus I to the N minus future value 1 plus I to the N minus 1 over I. Now, you will remember the loan was given to us in, in the problem. And that amount was, just to remind you again, was 375,000. This X is the monthly payment that was also given to us, the full payments of 7,500. And then I, the interest rate that was given to us is 0 0.14 over 12, because it is monthly. And we want to find out the outstanding balance and the important thing is when would we like that outstanding balance? That is now after we've made 75 full payments. So 75 payments was made and we want to know what is the outstanding balance after that 75 or on that uh, after the 75th payment was made. So let's do the calculation. Outstanding balance, and we substitute the loan 375, 1 plus 0, 0,14 over 12, 
my exponent is 75, we subtract, and our x is 7,500, and then we have 1 plus 0, 0,14 over 12, and the exponent of 75 minus 1, 0, 0,14 over 12. Again, like in the previous lesson, please put the whole thing onto your calculator using the brackets, exponent, fraction button on your calculator, and you will be able to find this outstanding balance. Please check your answer uh, against mine. I've got 3,547 with 457499. So I just repeat, my outstanding balance is 3,547. And you will notice the sense I didn't round them off because I'm still going to use this amount to calculate the last payment. And if you round off within a problem, it means our answer will not be 100% correct. So leave a number of decimals if you still use this, this answer for the, for the rest of the problem. Now, the last part of this problem is now to find the last payment. Now you will remember what I said on the previous page that to find the last payment, the way we do it is we take the outstanding balance and we multiply it with one month interest. So that N is only one. Because he made 75 full payments and Payment number 76 will be a lesser payment than the 7,500 rand. Now, if you look at the decimals, you will see it's 0, 0,45. So you will see it's a little bit less than half. So we expect this payment to be more or less less than a half of 7,500. So let's just substitute now. So I say 3547. 457499. See, I use all the decimals. I multiply this with 1 plus my interest rate 0, 0,14 over 12, and the exponent is 1. And quite easy to work this out on your calculator. And please check your final answer with me. My answer 3588 and 84 cents. So the